Good day guys welcome to today's lesson on etabs in today's lesson we are going to learn how to design math foundation so we are going to be comparing the results we get from etabs to that on which has been done manually so we have this building plan which can be seen with the dead load the live load of each coulombs please same way on etab so let me bring out the reaction so we can see the same thing we want so this is the dead load apply on the first column we have 200 as dead load then we'll go back here and you see 200 as dead load so let's see the live load of this column in the other direction so i'll come here and check live load apply so you can see the live load here is 250 the live load here is 250 so i've already modeled this something similar on etabs so what i'll be doing is i'll be exporting it to save so let me close it come to file export then you choose story as save so you select it so you choose the story you want which is based i want so i want to explore floor loads and load from above so select the load cases that i want so i want to export this dead and live or you select all so you click ok so you can see two out of two cases then for the load combination i want to select this now so for this ud slbs1 this is the service load one plus the one dead and one live and this is 1.35 dead and 1.5 live according to euro code so i will select this all and click ok and okay export it so i'm going to choose a name i want and just save it as math export okay so you can see that f2 key and we'll save so let's give it a little while for it to export so it has been exported out so the next thing i need to do now is to open my save so i'll select it open my save and give it a little while for it to open okay so next thing we do is you can just create a new model so once we open the new model we choose our settings i want to use metric si i want to use um europe then i want to use british and steel design code euro code then for my concrete design i want to use euro code so okay so click ok so next thing i need to do is just select it as blank since i'm importing so i will come here okay so go to file and import so import dot f2 key file so select it okay let me create a new folder i want okay so steve so i open it and choose the name i want matt okay so that's the name of the file we created so we can see this now it's time to import it so let's go back to this and this is what we selected math export okay. so we'll open it let's give it a little while for it to open let me close the 3d so that won't be ordinary so you can see this is something similar we have so let's go to the base which is what we are interested in okay so the first thing we are going to do is to define to so define material property and Add a new material europe and i want to use concrete so for my concrete strength this was what i selected from any tabs for the design okay then for my rebar strength i come here choose rebar modify it and rebar 275 okay so come to modify property so all i'm interested in this case now is to use 275 is to use 275 so my fy is 275 all these other values i can get them from practical values for my experiment but i'll be ignoring this for the meantime so i'm just interested in 275 so i'll click ok and that then ok so the next thing i'm going to define is i'm going to define my section properties so for that i'm going to define my slab since it's the max foundation i'll come here and modify now i can see in this they assume their thickness as 650 so if we go down there we'll see they used 650 so we can see it. they use 650 for their slab thickness so what we need to do is go back to save 
and choose lab 650 just rename it 650 modeling type change it to shell stick and change this to 650 okay so come to type and change it as math because it's math so select it and choose it you can currently leave the modifiers we don't need to tamper with it and click ok so we've done our slab now let's go back there again let's modify it and let's change our material so it's, this is our material and we'll click ok the next thing we need to do is to create a stiff property and the stiff property is for the columns so once we can see our columns our columns are 500 millimeter by 500 millimeter so that's what we need to create our columns so it will be the same stiffness with the columns from e tabs okay so we'll come here and create a new property as stiff choose the concrete strength we use which is this and let's go back to this as sorry come back to stiff okay so which is going to be 500 by 500 okay so we've done that and you can leave it as shell thick if you want so we'll click ok so we have stiff and we have slab so the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to draw my slab so i'll come here use this choose the property of my slab i want and draw it from edge to ok so after drawing our slab the next thing we need to do is to draw our stiff so let's come here let's use this shortcut and let's place it so we know that the width of our column is 500 and in the other direction is also 500 so i'll just come here and place it choose the property stiff then i light it at that point okay select it sorry i need to okay we've done this now the next thing we need to do is to define our soil subgrade modular so we'll come to define then we'll come to this okay then once we are done with that we'll come to area spring to modify it so what is our soil subgrade modulus from here they've told us our bearing capacity is 60 kpa so for us to convert it all we need to do is to multiply that is calculator okay so 60 times factor of safety which is 3 divided by settlement so we want to use 50 mm settlement which is 0 0.05 okay so which is 3600 we'll be using a value of 3600 okay so choose it as compression only and just name it as soil 60 kpa okay and click okay select it to that so now we can see that our slab is intersecting at the section at the middle of our column but we want it to be at the perimeter of the column so what we'll do is you we'll select our slab then go to edit then go to okay edit then edit shells okay so you see expand and shrink shell okay so now we know that we have a 500 so we have an offset left over of 250 that is 500 divided by 2 is 250 so once we select it as 250 we apply it and you see that the the slab gets to the end of the column okay so we are done with that so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to assign our support data so what we just do is highlight the whole structure then go to assign then go to support data area spring and we have a uh, the one we created so you can also modify it from this place and change whatever you want here but we're not doing that so we just click ok and apply it so you can see we've applied our support data to this so the next thing for us to do is to define some of our load combinations so let's come here load combinations which we've defined automatically from e tabs so we'll come here to add default combo now we can choose slab beam design convert to editable and click ok so you can modify it and you see it's 1.4 so let's see what our structure is like let's come to design concrete slab view preference okay let's check this let's check this let's check this okay so design code now is to aci but i want to use the euro code so i'll come here and select it as euro code 
so we can i'll change this to also united kingdom and click ok so we can go back to uh define and let's also delete that uh, it's not there again okay so we are done with that next thing we we'll do is run the analysis so we'll come here and run our analysis so let's see yes let's run the analysis okay so we can see our uh, our contour okay so let's display now let me display yes soil pressure okay so i can also defo display deformed shape so let me choose the combo i want i want to use this one okay which is one dead plus one live and apply it okay so once i uh, you can see now the way it is once i place my mouse on it it brings out the value so green is about minus six then red is almost about 16.5 let's say about 14 and in our analysis we had a settlement of 50 millimeters so this is less than 50 millimeters it means we are safe now the next thing for me to do now is for me to check my soil pressure so i'll make sure that my soil pressure is less than what is assumed so i'll go there and display to so display uh, forces and stress yes soil pressure so i'm interested in the service also so i'll come here apply okay so i can see that at this point here is a little bit above my soil bearing capacity so the thing for me to do is for me to increase the area so i just have to increase the area so i'm going to unlock this model select my math then go to define okay so once i go to define i'll sorry i'll go to edit then i'll come to edit shell and i'm going to expand or shrink so let me increase it by 600 round again and let's see what to apply so let's run the analysis again and let's check it okay so let's go back to display process diagram soil pressure and let's use this with the one to apply okay so from our analysis we said the soil bearing capacity is 60 kpa so from what we have our maximum is 56 so it means this area of slab is sufficient enough so thank you for watching today's video on math foundation design if you have any question you can always drop it in the comment section thank you very much